Hey Booktube, what's up? It's Tori, and today I'm coming to you guys with my Booktube-a-thon TBR! That's right, you guys, it is time once again for the lovely Booktube-a-thon hosted by Ariel Bissett. There's a whole channel about it if you guys haven't heard about it, which hopefully you have because it starts in two days, or less than that actually, more like a day and a half. But I'm going to go ahead and go on with my review. Let's go! Okay, so for those of you who do not know, there are seven challenges for booktube -a and this is the fourth year of them doing it, so the first challenge, which they do every year, just a different variation of it, is to read a book with yellow on the cover. And for this, I decided to go with the contemporary novel Written in the Stars by Aisha Saeed. This book is about a girl named Nalia, whose parents basically control, they let her do what she wants, they let her choose what she wants to study, uh, what she wants to wear, how she wants to wear her hair, but it's forbidden for her to date or talk to a guy or fall in love with a boy because her parents have set up an arranged marriage. And she falls in love with this boy that she meets, and her parents are furious and say, no, it cannot happen. So basically, when they go on vacation, her parents decide that they found her husband and she has to get married, like, now. And so this is going to tell us how that's going to go down and what's going to go down with it. So I'm actually really excited to read this, and I just got it off of Book Outlet, which is my favorite site ever. And it was actually a cover buy, because I like the cover. It was very pretty. And, um, yeah, so, so it'll be fun. It's also not very long. It's only about, let's see, we can look right here. Oh, it's less than 300 pages, so this will take no time, and it's got really pretty big print. Look at that. Nice big print. So, I should finish this in no time. The next book that I have actually combines two challenges this year. And this book combines a book that is older than you, and a book that you can only read after the sun's down. So only read at night. And for that I picked A Midsummer's Night Dream. A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. This book is way older than me, definitely. And I thought it was a nice little play on the title. Midsummer Night's Dream. Only read it at night during the summer. Yeah. Okay. I know. It's dorky. But it's a play. So. And it's a very short play. So it shouldn't take me long at all. I should be done with it in one, maybe two nights. So. Yeah. Go me. The next book I have to show you guys also takes out two challenges in one, and that is a book that you discovered through booktube, which is most of the books on my shelves, but this one happened to fit the bill for the next challenge as well, and that is a book by your favorite author. My favorite author, second to J.K. Rowling, but I'm not rereading the Harry Potter books for this, is Miss Sarah J. Maas, and I decided that I needed to read... Oops, I don't know. A Court of Mist and Fury, since I just read A Court of Thorns and Roses like two weeks ago, it came in on my library app and I was like, you know what, I'm reading it for booktube -a For those of you that don't know, A Court of Thorns and Roses, the first book is about this girl who goes hunting in the woods to feed her family and accidentally kills a fairy, and the lord of that fairy's particular, like, area in the fairy country comes down to claim her because it's part of a treaty that they signed if a human kills a fairy then the human either dies or can be given sanctuary in the fairy kingdom and so she goes over there to live with the fairy lord Hamlin who is gorgeous and a lot of stuff happens and it is so great it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I think after about maybe the first book, like, I think after the first book, it sort of ends the whole Beauty and the Beast retelling part and then kind of just um, evolves into something much more complex and beautiful and amazing. And if you haven't read it, I highly, highly, highly encourage you guys to check it out, like, now. Like, booktube -a Read it. Go. Okay, this next challenge is one that they did a couple years ago, and Ariel decided to bring it back for this one to let those of us who are relatively new with booktube -a have a chance to do it. And that challenge is to read and watch at the same time a book to movie adaptation. So like read the book and then as soon as you're done watch it while it's still fresh in your mind and all the details from the book are still there. And for this I decided to do The Lovely Bones by Alice Sebold. Alice Sebold. Um, this was recently put up on Netflix and so I decided well since it's on Netflix why don't I check out the book. 
and that way I can read it and then go watch it right after and compare my thoughts. So I think it's going to be great. I don't really know that much about this book and I've chosen not to read that much about it because I wanted like to actually just see as I read. So this one's going to be good. So the seventh challenge of Booktubeathon is the same every year and that is to read seven books in seven days. And so far you guys have seen three out of my seven. Right? No. Y'all have seen four out of my seven books. And for this, for the, um, the final three, I have Soundless by Rochelle Mead. This book focuses on a girl who lives in a village where everyone there is deaf. And one morning she wakes up and can hear. And the people in this village, it's like a bowl. And so they get their supplies down from the zip line and the zip line stops. It, it stops bringing food down, and so she goes to investigate and see what happened to it, and that's pretty much all I really know about this, but I've had it on my shelf for a couple weeks now, and it's been killing me to read it, but I've been wanting to save it for Booktubeathon, because it's not very long. It's, I don't even think it's 300 pages. No, it's not even 300 pages, and the print's pretty large, so I should be done with this in, like, a day and a half, if that. So, wish me luck. Because I can't wait. The sixth book that I have on my list for Booktubeathon this year will be Zenith, which is part one of the Andromeda so Chronicles by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Anna and I have decided to make this our book of the month this month, as well as one of our seven books for Booktubeathon. And hopefully we'll get to read it together. I'm going to have to talk to her and figure out which day she wants to go ahead and try to start it. But we'll see. Um, I don't know all that much about this, I just know it's got something to do with outer space and, like, space pirates, and I am super, super excited to read this because I've watched Sasha and Lindsay talk about it since, since before it came out, and I've heard how it became a New York Times bestseller, and it's just, I'm so proud that these two women have made this book as awesome as I hear it is, because that is just amazing. So I'm super beyond excited to read it. And finally, the seventh book that I have on my list for book two with on is Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I know I said I wanted to read this one this month, and I figured, why not tag it onto my book two with on TBR? I just hope that I can actually get to it. Last year, I managed to make it through four and a half books. One of them, I listened to the audiobook for most of it. I'm going to see if I can do that again this year for something. I don't know what. But if I get to seven, I'm going to be so excited. I, that's why I picked some short books. So that way I can, like, hopefully blow through them. But we'll have to see. So that was my TBR list for the Booktubeathon 2016. Please, I want to know what you guys are reading for this. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!